Hello students, I welcome you all to quick solutions of AI ATS 4 for RM batch which was held on 12th of January 2020. I shall be taking zoology quick solutions. So students, let's start. Question number 136. Which of the following is incorrect regarding sponges? So here they are talking about phylum porifera. Let us read the options. Option number 1. They are generally asymmetrical and marine. This is a correct statement regarding sponges. Option number 2. Digestion is intracellular. This statement is also correct as digestion process takes place inside the cell in sponges. Option number 3. Fertilization is always external. This is an incorrect statement as in sponges, fertilization is internal. Let us read the next option. Development is indirect having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. This is also a correct statement as the development in sponges involves the formation of a larval stage which then transforms into an adult. So the incorrect statement over here is option number 3. So our answer becomes option number 3. Let us proceed to the next question. Question number 137. Phylum Arthropoda is the largest phylum in the animal kingdom. Which is the second largest phylum? The options are Mollusca, Annelida, Hemichordata and Echinodermata. Now students, over two-thirds over two-thirds of all named species of animals belong to phylum Arthropoda. So this is the largest phylum and the second largest phylum is phylum Mollusca which includes soft-bodied animals. The other options are Annelida, Hemichordata and Echinodermata. But the second largest phylum is Mollusca. So the answer becomes option number 1. Proceeding to the next question. Question number 138. Choose the odd one with respect to the presence of general Annelidian character. Let us read the options. Triploblastic body, pseudocelom metamerism and bilateral symmetry. So out of these we have to find out which is not a feature of phylum Annelida. Let us see. The phylum Annelida is the first phylum to exhibit metamerism that is body segmentation. So metamerism is exhibited. Triploblastic body is correct as they have three Germinal layers which are ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Number 3, pseudocelom. This is incorrect as annelids are coelomates. That is, they possess a true coelom. And pseudocelom is a character of ascae. Helminths. Number 4, bilateral symmetry is also correct. So over here, pseudocelom is not an annelidian character. So the correct answer becomes option number 2, that is pseudocelom. Let us see the next question. Question number 139. Which of the following is not a general feature of the phylum represented by below given animal. Over here, we can see a picture of octopus which belongs to phylum Mollusca. Let us read the options. Bilateral symmetry is a general feature. This is correct. Oviparous animals with indirect development. 
These are also features exhibited by mollusks. Number three, terrestrial or aquatic habitat is also correct as we can find examples of mollusks as terrestrial as well as aquatic animals. Number four, segmented body. This is incorrect as mollusks are unsegmented animals. That is, they do not have true segmentation in the body. So, correct answer becomes option number 4. Let us see the next question, students. Question number 140. What is common among scorpion, crab, honeybee and silverfish? As we can see that all these animals belong to phylum. Arthropoda. So we have to find a character which is common to all these arthropods. Let us see the options. Malphagian tubules for respiration is incorrect as malphagian tubules are excretory structures. Number two, porometabolis metamorphosis. Now metamorphosis in arthropods can be ametabolis. Hemimetabolus, porometabolus or holometabolus. So all of these do not possess porometabolus metamorphosis. So this becomes incorrect. Number three, two pairs of antennae. This is also incorrect as all these animals do not possess two pairs of antennae. Number four, jointed legs. Jointed legs is a feature which is exhibited by all arthropods as we can see. That the word arthro here means joint or jointed and podo means appendages or legs. Therefore, the presence of jointed appendages is a characteristic that is shown by all arthropods. So, the correct answer becomes option number 4. Moving on to the next question.